Hi, this is Michael Steinman. This is Jazz Lives, Obvious Facts. And since my hero is Louis Armstrong, I'm always interested in people who have actually also met my hero. One of those lucky folks is sitting across from me. Her name is Katie Powell. She's a dear friend, and she also has the distinction of having a father who was a hero named Mel Powell, pianist, arranger, composer, magician, sorcerer, wizard, all sorts of interesting things. But Katie has her own story about Mr. Armstrong for us. Thank you, Michael. Yes, and, and in fact, I'm curious, you might know the date roughly. It might have been 1964 or 5. Uh, he was in Manhattan uh, with Father Himes at this restaurant. Does that help at all? Okay, we don't know. So I was four or five years old, um, very little person. I remember this visually, and I'll tell you why in a second. Um, I, we were at a restaurant in Manhattan because we lived in Connecticut, and I know I was very young because I, I was so petite. And, um, and Louis Armstrong was there at that restaurant, and he was at a table with, with probably a few other colleagues whom I don't know, I don't remember, but I do remember that Earl Father Hines was one of them. And, um, and so my dad, who wanted very much to go over and see Earl Hines and Louis Armstrong, um, he had me by my right hand to introduce me. And so um, we walked over there, and I remember really well, because this is one of my happiest and earliest memories. Uh, so it had to be 64, 65. And I remember that Lewis was seated um, for dinner, and that he and I were almost eye level. So that means you know, not very tall. I wasn't terribly tall. And uh, my dad introduced me to Louis Armstrong, who immediately broke out into song. And I do a terrible Louis Armstrong impersonation, as most do, I'm sure. <laughs> but I will give you, I will, I will give it my best. Um, and he looked right at me, and he smiled, and he said, K -k -k Katie. Beautiful Katie, you're the only g -g -g girl that I adore. <laughs> you know? and, and I was just undone. And he sang the whole song, um, which is only a few more lines, but I was just enthralled and so grateful. And he, I can see it now as though it were yesterday. And that's how I met Louis Armstrong when I was a kid. I was, like I said, about four or five years old. And it really is one of my happiest and earliest memories. Well, you got the angelic rays full in the face and personalized. I did. You're very lucky. It's a good start to life. It really, it really was. Yeah. It really was. I'm very, very grateful for that and inexpressibly grateful for a lot of things that I don't have time to list. Well, we have lots of time on the camera. Thank you, <laughs> Cook, Cook, Katie. Thank you, Mama, Mama, Michael.